Good morning, DHS. You're watching BBPN. I'm Max Davis Hasfield. Coming up, we remember George Floyd on the two year anniversary of his death, plus a look at the Davis Pike Film Festival and the end of the baseball season. Today is Wednesday, May 25th. All that and more after these announcements from student government. What's poppin' DHS? It's Grace. It's Chloe. We're here to tell you guys about the weekly stud Up scoop. First things first, Powder Puff is happening on May 27th. That's this Friday. Make sure to wear all blue, support your seniors and your juniors. But mostly seniors. Second up, grad night tickets are still on sale, but will be going up in price on June 1st to $100. So be sure to get your tickets now. Seniors, graduation is coming up, and if you need additional tickets for graduation, they're up on the Blue Devil store right now. Finally, this day in history, on May 25th, 1977, the first Star Wars film was released. That's crazy. That's wild. Speaking of which, is your last name Skywalker? Because you look so good. Woo! Two years ago today, George Floyd was murdered in an event that sparked a resurgence in the Black Lives Matter movement. So I Amin looked at what that means for us two years later. George Floyd was murdered by a Minneapolis cop on May 25th, 2020, two years ago today. The video of his murder circulated on social media and news outlets, which led to the 2020 Black Lives Matter movement. People of all backgrounds took to the streets to show their support. No matter where you live, we all remember the energy of the 2020 Black Lives Matter movement that followed the murder of George Floyd. We must not let it die. So what can we as a community do to continue this movement? For many Americans, the 2020 Black Lives Matter movement and George Floyd's murder was an entry point to get comfortable with anti-racism. But over the past two years, this energy has been dissipating. After noticing Davis's lack of action, local Davis couple Sule and Kate Melanani Baba took initiative and created the solidarity space here in Davis. It just kind of turned into a place where people could come to express themselves. One of the reasons why we came up with this space was to plant some kind of seed and hope that it catches on. Davis takes pride in being progressive, but in order to make the culture match the facade, we must all take initiative to unlearn biases, educate ourselves, and hold ourselves and others around us accountable for damaging behaviors. Again, people were ready to take this anti-racism journey and then things get in the way and your privilege lets you just kind of relax and you get exhausted. So I hope people that make those baby steps, specifically white people in this community, to stay on that journey. Later today, we will be gathering in the solidarity space at Central Park to create art, make signs, and pay respects on the two-year anniversary of George Floyd's death. Anyone is welcome. This Friday, DHS will be hosting its first ever film festival, celebrating works made by both the introductory and advanced classes of Davis High's video film class. The event will take place from 7 to 8.45 this Friday in the Brunel Theater and will include an awards ceremony at the end. In sports, you thought we didn't have many scores last week? Well, we have even fewer this time around. But before we get into it, and perhaps to make up for those absences, Here's a video chronicling this year's baseball season. The Devils entered the game with a 12 and 16 record on the season and the 12 seed in the 16 team Sac Joaquin section playoffs. I had basically two seasons that were wiped out and then to have the playoffs back, um, it's just really a special time of the year. The Lions started strong, scoring one run in each of the first two innings. However, the Devils pitcher outfielder Brian Chin performed well on both sides of the ball throwing five innings, giving up five hits, three runs, one earned, and four strikeouts. But the highlight of his game? Chin said those came at the plate. I've probably just gone up there and being aggressive to the ball, putting the ball in play, getting two RBI singles. However, an offensive explosion by the Lions off of the Devils' bullpen put McClatchy up 9-2, to two, which proved to be too much for Davis to overcome. We had runners in, in a position to take the lead or at least tie the game there in the top of the sixth, and they got a big strikeout. McClatchy has eliminated Davis in back-to-back postseason bursts. The Devils hope that the third time will be the charm in 2023. I think, um, you know, having the players go through and seeing the process of what it looks like to become a playoff team, what it takes to win a playoff game, I think this will be huge for the young guys moving forward. For BlueDevilHub.com, this is Sean Campbell reporting. In sports, the only thing that we've got scores for is track. Davis High hosted the Masters track meet last weekend, 
And after that, we have four students qualified for the state meets. That's Andrew Baum, Ray Oldham, Ryan Mitchell, and Zach Ayers. Congratulations to these athletes. And chances are, if the trend keeps up, we won't have any scores for you next week. Well, that's our show. If you'd like to send us a one minute video to be in next week's BDPN, send us an email at dhsbdpn at gmail.com. Don't forget to listen to the news cycle wherever you get your podcasts and check out the hub on social media. Thanks for watching DHS. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.